This video is an introduction to integrated circuits and more specifically the 555 uh, timer chip. The 555 IC is probably one of the coolest and easy to understand chips that can get you started with uh, using integrated circuits. So an integrated circuit is a circuit with many little components all into one little convenient package. Integrated circuit, um, also known as an IC or commonly called a chip, those would all be uh, accurate descriptions. But the actual circuit in this little chip is shown right here for the 555. And the uh, so you bring the voltage into the chip these squiggly lines are all resistors. There's at least 15 resistors. There's over 22 transistors. Uh, there's a couple diodes. So instead of having to build this circuit using transistors, resistors, and diodes, you can see that take up a lot of space and probably cost you more than 50 cents just if you uh, buy them in bulk. You buy them one at a time, it might be a, a dollar or two. But um, so cost savings and space savings is pretty great because you can throw this chip on a, a breadboard and use all of its functionality and you can build thousands of different um, circuits that do different things with one cool chip. This chip is in a dip package, meaning it has these little pins where you can easily um, take it and stick it in a socket or in a breadboard. So when ordering parts um, it's a lot easier to experiment with the dip pin type IC. You can get these in surface mount and if you look you can see that uh, surface mount are basically flush and then they're barely soldered on there and it'd be a lot easier to uh, experiment with a dip package you can solder wires on to it and so forth so the 555 IC is a multi vibrator and that means that it uh, can be used as multiple for multiple applications but it can vibrate so it can oscillate um, it can be a LED blinker um, and there's two types of circuits when you have a, a multivibrator. You can do an, a, a stable circuit where um, it's switching something off and on, um, but it's not stable in either state, meaning it won't latch in a state. So it would be blinking on and off, on and off, and continue that cycle. There's also another mode that you can use these with, and that's monostable. And in a monostable circuit, um, it'd be like an egg timer where you push a button and it would count for uh, a minute and then it would go into the other state which would be off and it, that state would be stable and it's waiting for you to uh, trigger it again somehow. The 555 has a big brother called 556 and the 556 is two 555 timers. So if you wanted two timers you have it in a convenient package here and you save two pins. This is 8 pin and this is only 14 pins. For the 556 um, you could do something for instance where you have a cascade. So you have one timer that times and once that time is up it triggers another timer. One thing to notice on these uh, chips is that there's usually a little a little dot or a indentation at the top, um, and that in, in, indicates that if that's the top, this is pin one right here. So we can count pin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here are the eight pins on the 555 IC. Pin one is ground. Pin eight is plus voltage. 
Um, you can run these on 5 to 12 volts. So then you have trigger, output, reset, discharge threshold, control voltage. So you'll connect these pins to other electronics, uh, resistors and capacitors, and uh, get the circuit you want. No one expects you to be able to conjure a, a circuit out of thin air, but you might uh, search on the internet. There are tons and tons of schematics, or you can get a book like this, which this one is pretty cool. has lots of neat little uh, things you can do. Here's the cascade timer, like I told you, 556. Five, so one timer all time, and then it triggers the other one. Pulse generator. This is the one we're going to start with today. It's really super simple and awesome.